In the chill of December 1957, the small town of Sycamore, Illinois, was struck by the vanishing of seven-year-old Maria Ridolf. Her body was discovered five months later, but the mystery of what happened to her persists to this day. Ridolf was last seen alive playing with her friend Kathy before Miss Tony swept her away, but the FBI took over the case eyeing the neighbor's son, John Tessier, as a potential suspect. Despite passing a lie detector test, Tessier found himself back in the spotlight in 1994 when his mother confessed on her deathbed that he was the guilty party. But chasing this new lead, Tessier, now living as Jack McCullough, was arrested in Seattle and convicted in 2011, marking this as the oldest cold case to go to trial. But however, four years later, new evidence surfaced. Records proved he had called an Air Force recruiting station from a payphone in Rockford, Illinois at the time of the kidnapping, proving McCullough's innocence, and once again, the case went cold. To this day, the tragic tale of Maria Ridolf remains an unsolved mystery, a chilling reminder of the unknown lurking in the shadows.